Institute of Environmental Medicine in Natick, Massachusetts. This is a place where some of the writers from Voyage of the Mimi came to learn about things like hypothermia. The people here study how humans react in different kinds of environments, like cold. I visited Dr. Murray Hamlet. He's the chief of the cold division. It hits the ground and pops when Dr. Hamlet told me he was taking me into the Arctic wind tunnel, I was a little worried. But he said it was a good way to learn about how our bodies regulate heat. First, he had to wire me up with little temperature measuring devices called thermistors. And, uh, we'll measure your skin temperature as we go into the chamber, and I'll show you uh, how your skin temperature changes associated with your cold exposure. Uh -huh, but I thought your temperature was always 98.6. Well, it is over the, the central part of your body, the, the, the torso, your core of your body. Uh, but over the periphery, the arms and legs, the temperature will vary quite significantly depending on how you're exposed. The way your system works is that you produce heat the muscles and, and organs in your body burning glucose and oxygen. You mean food? Yes, food that you eat is converted to glucose, sugar, and it goes to the cells along with oxygen and it's burned mm -hmm. and it's the same kind of chemical process that involved in any burning process. And that heat is moved around your system by warming the blood and the warm blood moves out and that's the way you move heat. From the core where it's warm out to the radiating surfaces in your skin. Now, 